Welcome to this TOK21 video on the Tree of Knowledge system. The Tree of Knowledge, or TOK system, is a new theory of scientific knowledge. Central to the TOK system is a pictographic representation of the universe from the Big Bang to the present. This diagram has several key elements. Some of these are likely to be familiar to individuals who have thought about the big picture. For example, like the popular big history approach, the TOK system maps the history of the universe on the dimensions of time and complexity. However, the system also has several novel, novel elements that enables it to resolve a number of long-standing philosophical difficulties. This video will briefly share the main features of the system. These include the fact that the tree of knowledge system is a cosmic evolutionary theory of both reality and our scientific knowledge about that reality, a theory about how our scientific knowledge is organized, a map of four dimensions linked by four joint points, and a system for solving the problem of psychology and effectively defining mind and behavior. The tree of knowledge system starts with our best insights from modern cosmology and the idea that the universe began as a pure energy singularity. The Big Bang can be thought of as the beginning of our universe, and the echo of the Big Bang is seen in the cosmic microwave background radiation. According to the TOK, the Big Bang gives rise to the first dimension of complexity, which is called matter. In physics, matter is an entity that occupies space and has a rest mass. On the TOK, matter with a capital M refers to the first dimension of behavioral complexity. A dimension of behavioral complexity can also be referred to as a plane of existence. As a plane of existence, matter consists of the energy-matter interactions on the dimensions of space and time. Quantum mechanics, the study of very small particles, sits at the base of matter. General relativity is Einstein's theory that maps the relationship between mass and space and time. General relativity allows scientists to study the very large structures of the universe, like galaxies. Over a 10 billion year history, material objects have become increasingly complex. Particles emerge into atoms and emerge into complicated organic chemicals on planet Earth. Then there was a spark of life. This represents the fact that approximately 4 billion years ago, there was a jump from complicated chemical arrangements into a novel plane of existence at, called life. As matter is organized into atoms, life is organized into cells. However, whereas atoms are complicated, life cells are living complex adaptive systems. This means that cells exhibit qualitatively different properties. Living creatures are self-referential dynamic entities whose behavior is mediated by genetic and epigenetic information processing that is input computation and output, and cell-cell communication. In the 1930s, natural selection was merged with the science of genetics to give rise to the modern evolutionary synthesis. In the language of the TOK, mind, with a capital M, is a new term. Like matter, life, and culture, it refers to an identifiable plane of existence, specifically the third plane. Mind is a set of what are called mental behaviors. Mental behaviors refer to both the overt activities and covert neuroinformation processing that takes place inside an animal's nervous system. Behavioral investment theory is the joint point between life and mind on the TOK. It is a meta theory that combines B.F. Skinner's theory of behavioral selection with neurocomputational models of mental processing. The fourth dimension of behavioral complexity on the TOK is the culture 
person plane of existence. Culture with a capital C refers to the large scale systems of justification that emerge as people dialogue, reason, and build ideologies, laws, rules, and other cultural codes. Technologies can be thought of as material culture. Like the other dimensions of complexity, culture emerges as a function of a novel information processing and communication that is human language. The tree of knowledge system also includes a framework for understanding modern science. Specifically, it suggests that modern science is a kind of justification system that emerged in the 16th and 17th century based on measurement, observation, experimentation, and was defined against the scholastic metaphysical approaches that characterized the academy at the time. Indeed, the tree of knowledge is a theory about how our scientific knowledge is organized. This can be seen when we consider how the tree of knowledge divides the world both into the ontic reality and our scientific theories about that reality. This can be seen more clearly when we realize the implication the tree of knowledge system has for considering behavioral complexity. Most models map complexity on a single axis. However, with its view of the different dimensions of complexity, the TOK gives rise to a view that has two axes that differentiates the dimensions with the levels of analysis that take place within the dimensions. The periodic table of behavior makes this clear. Here are the dimensions at the level of the columns, and these divisions separate out into the general categories of the object field relations. However, there are also the primary levels of part, whole, and group. These give rise to a picture of the sciences that move across into 12 different floors. For example, if we start at the energy level, we move into particle physics, up in the periodic table of elements, into chemistry, and that forms the ground of the matter dimension until it jumps into life, the essence of which are genetic potentials that create cells that grow into multi-cells, and eventually around the Cambrian explosion, give rise to the animal dimension, which is organized by neural networks, gives rise to animal mental behavior that then form into cooperative groups studied by disciplines like sociobiology. And then with the emergence of culture, we see symbolic justification and the human mind and self-conscious justification developing into larger and larger social systems. Here we have a depiction of the physical sciences, which start with the fundamental quantum parts, move up into atoms, and then stretch across scale, reaching at its largest, the entire visible universe. The biological sciences mapping the life dimension across scale. Here we have the mind, brain, animal behavior sciences, which are known as basic psychology on the tree of knowledge system, ranging from scale of neural networks through the emergence of animals at different levels of complexity, all the way up to a socio-behavioral ecology. And finally, we have the human social sciences that start at cognitive science into personality and human psychology, and then the social sciences proper with anthropology, economics, political science, and sociology. The tree of knowledge system also divides the world into four dimensions linked by four joint points. There are mentions of this four-dimensional view. For example, the tree of knowledge suggests we can unweave the rainbow of human behavior into the physical matter, biological life, psychological mind, and sociocultural dimensions of existence. The reason there are four dimensions of complexity is because following matter, new dimensions of behavioral complexity emerge as a function of novel information processing and communication systems. 
For example, with life, we have cells processing genetic information. With mind, we have animals communicating and processing neuronal information. And with culture, we have persons communicating and processing symbolic information. The four dimensions are closely connected to another key implication of the tree of knowledge, which are the joint points. Quantum gravity represents the merger of quantum mechanics and general relativity, which if successful would be a complete theory of the matter dimension. The evolutionary synthesis represents the merger of natural selection and genetics. This is a partial unification of biology, but incomplete because we still do not know the fundamentals of what gave rise to life to begin with and exactly how cell physiology and epigenetics connects. Behavioral investment theory is a meta-theoretical framework for the animal mental plane of existence. And justification systems theory is a meta-theoretical framework for what gave rise to human self-consciousness and the evolution of the culture person plane of existence. The tree of knowledge also is a system for solving the problem of psychology and effectively defining mind and behavior. This gives rise to another key feature of the tree of knowledge which is that it solves the problem of psychology. Here is a visual summary of the argument laid out in the book, A New Unified Theory of Psychology. It shows how we can see science via the lens of the tree of knowledge as being reasonably well organized at the physical and biological levels, but coherence breaks down at the level of psychology. The unified theory assimilates and integrates key ideas in psychology and shows how to construct a coherent holistic vision. The first paper on the tree of knowledge and the theoretical unification of psychology in 2003 showed how the metapsychology can assimilate and integrate the key ideas of B.F. Skinner via behavioral investment theory and Freud via the justification hypothesis and justification systems theory. The system has grown in many directions since this original publication. Ultimately, we need new theories of knowledge for the 21st century. The tree of knowledge is a candidate theory that offers a new way to think about reality and science and effectively solves the problem of psychology in a way that traditional scientific knowledge systems have not.